the lower the pressure, the larger the surface area needs to be to sense the pressure. I'll give you an example. Let's say this whole wall was sheet metal. And I'm standing here and I lean against it. What's going to happen? Boom. There's no resistance, right? It'll take very little pressure for me to just push on it and get that wall to flex. Same wall, but I come over here and I put a frame around this much. Same amount of pressure. Is it going to move? Not unless I really lean on it because now it's a smaller surface area. It takes much more pressure for me to get that movement. Let's say I was able to move the whole wall a quarter inch. <coughs> If I'm going to move this little square quarter inch, I've got to put a lot of pounds per square inch on there. So the general rule of thumb is this. The lower the pressure, the larger the surface area. Now, in a boron tube, that means you're going to have a very wide and thin boron tube. So the bigger the tube, the wider it is, the thinner it is, the lower the pressure. 